Does all this news about climate change make you anxious like me? Well, let's get some therapy together. Woo. If you're just joining me right now, I cover hurricanes for a living, and I'm gonna be honest with you, my mom doesn't like it. No, I do not. The scary thing is, these hurricanes are getting stronger. I mean, take a look at what Hurricane Nicole did here in Central Florida. These homes are literally hanging off the side of a sand dune. That pool right there being held up by poles. The good news is we found some mental health counselors that are starting to take this climate anxiety seriously. Climate anxiety is definitely a real thing. First, we need to take a look at the problem. It's traumatizing. And whenever you see a, a, a storm swirling out there, it's just like PTSD. And this is why Paula Hyrett feels like this. I mean, take a look at what a really strong storm like Hurricane Ian did to her home near Daytona Beach, Florida. So we either apply and get FEMA assistance mm -hmm. to go up and raise the house or get a loan or go. I can't go through this again. Farther inland. So tell me why this is your favorite part of the house again. Because it's Florida and I love being outside. Teresa Pope says she has seen the effects of climate change simply by lounging by her pool. And she says it's making her anxious. We're all affected by it. You can see it with the weather. You know how different it is. There's a lot more storms now all over the world. It's not just here, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. And I'm worried about what we're leaving our kids and our grandchildren in the future. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you how therapists are actually being trained to be on the lookout for this kind of anxiety because Pope isn't alone in feeling like this. She actually responded to a survey that Solutionaries conducted with news organizations across the country, asking people how they felt about the changing climate. More than two thirds of the people who responded said that they were worried about it. And more than half of the people said that they feel anxious about it. If I think about like on a world scale, it's scary, you know? You start to feel anxious? I do. I, I get real anxiety because, like I said, there's not enough being done. What do you do about that anxiety when you feel that? I come out here and I go in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I come out here to distress, you know. Does it work? It does. I'm calling it uh, climate disruption distress. That's Michael Whalen. He's a licensed mental health counselor. And, you know, we were all set to jump in a car and go talk to him in person. But what did you tell us? unless you have an electric car, maybe we can save a thimble full of, of CO2. You're part of a group of mental health counselors across the country who basically have studied up on climate anxiety and the way people feel when they think about the changing climate. Are right. you seeing some of your clients who have some of this going on in their lives? Sure, sure. There's a climate grief when we envision the future and we have that anxiety or that worry about what's going to happen to the climate and for our own personal well-being. And we're going to show you how some people are processing all of that. There's a reason why we're seeing so much distress among our clients. We spoke with Susan McMillan from Costa Rica, where she's conducting research on depression. And she's helped develop a lesson plan for her fellow therapist, exploring the hidden impacts of climate change and what they're having on mental health. So how are you bringing this to other counselors and therapists? What are you telling them? What we need to do while we're helping clients and teaching communication skills and identifying our emotions is also bring them back to our lost sense of connection to nature. All right, so what do you do if you're feeling anxious about the changing climate? Well, we have some advice that the therapist actually passed along. First, allow yourself to feel the way you feel. Talk to some friends and family about your feelings. And if you can, take some action. Hi, my name is Allison Daycott, and I am an environmental artist, a timepieces artist, and looking to just change the world through my art. We spent about 40 hours creating this mural. This whole concept is about a bear. His name is Future, and he lives in 2060, and it's the world transformed by climate change. So this is his two friends, a pelican and a panther, because, you know, we had to make it Florida-based and I'm collaborating with Vola Foundation to make this beautiful mural and have a message that has impact. So taking action can be therapeutic. I just want people to 
pay closer attention to it, start doing something. So can talking to your friends and loved ones about your anxiety over the changing climate. So can finding a mental health counselor who's keyed into the subject. So it feels good to be part of the solution. That's the only way. Be sure to subscribe to Solutionaries to see all our latest videos right here on YouTube.